Gangster Granny, Chapter 17, Planning the Heist For the first time in his life, Ben skipped to school the following morning. Through his love of plumbing, the previous night he had discovered that the Tower of London had a weakness. The most impregnable building in the world, where some of the country's most dangerous criminals had been imprisoned and executed, had a fatal flaw. A large sewage pipe that led directly into the River Thames. That ancient tube would be his and his sorry, that ancient tube would be his and Granny's way in and out of the tower. It was quite a brilliant plan, and Ben's body couldn't hide his excitement at this amazing discovery. That's why he was skipping. He couldn't wait until Friday night when his mum and dad would once again pack him off to Granny's. Then he would be able to convince the old lady that together, they really could steal the crown jewels. Ben would bring along the diagram in Plumbing Weekly of the Tower of London sewerage system to show her. The two of them could stay up all night and work out every detail of the most daring robbery of all time. The problem was that a whole fat week of lessons and teachers and homework stood between now and Friday night. However, Ben was determined to use the week at school wisely. In his IT lesson, he looked up the crown jewels and memorized every detail on the web page. In history, he asked his teacher questions about the Tower of London and exactly where in the building the crown jewels were kept. That would be the jewel house, fact fans. In geography, he found an atlas of the British Isles and pinpointed precisely where on the Thames the tower is situated. In PE, he didn't accidentally on purpose forget his kit like usual. Instead, he did extra press-ups so his arms would be strong enough to pull himself up the sewerage pipe that led into the tower. In maths, he asked the teacher how many packets of Rolos you could buy with five billion pounds, which is what the crown jewels were said to be worth. Rolos were Ben's absolute favorite sweets. The answer is 10 billion packets or 24 billion actual Rolos. That's enough for a year at least. And Raj was sure to throw in a few extra packets for free. In his French class, Ben learned how to say, I know nothing about the theft of, how you say, the crown jewels. I am but a poor French peasant boy, in case he needed to pretend he was a poor French peasant boy in order to escape from the scene of the crime. In Spanish, he learned to say, I know nothing about how you say, the crown jewels. I am but a poor Spanish peasant boy, in case he needed to pretend he was a poor Spanish peasant boy in order to escape from the scene of the crime. In German, he learned to say, well, I'm sure you get the idea. In science, Ben quizzed his teacher about how you might be able to penetrate bulletproof glass, even if you got into the jewel house. Removing the jewels was not going to be easy, as they were kept behind glass that was inches thick. In his art class, he made a detailed scale model of the Tower of London out of matches, so he could roleplay the daring robbery in miniature. The week absolutely flew by. Never had school been so much fun. Most importantly, for the first time in his life, Ben couldn't wait to spend time with his granny. By the end of school on Friday afternoon, Ben felt he had all the data he needed to put the daring plan into place. The story of the theft of the crown jewels would be on TV news for weeks, on every website and emblazoned across every front page of every newspaper in every country in the world. However, no one, but no one, would suspect that the thieves were in fact a little old lady and an 11 year old boy. They were going to get away with the crime of the century. That's it for chapter 17 and we'll be back with chapter 18 soon.